And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our extreme... No, not extreme production. This would be Achievement Hunter. Boy, my brain sometimes just doesn't want to work. I don't know why, but... Anyway, we are going to build a serious amount of solar panels. I'm going for the Solaris... As well as, maybe not delivery service. Where is the build build stuff? Build stuff with bots. That's the one I'm looking for. Right here. So we are at 1.8 thousand out of 35 thousand. We need to build more stuff with bots. So this will go a long ways in helping that out. So I'm going to build. We're just going to build like crazy here oh we are okay let's go down one and then here okay that doesn't really fit well got a lot of a lot of lines going up here I put some row ports out here to help help this process. As you can see, we've got a lot of accumulators going. So I'm going to need another I'm going to need another one of these out here. I'm trying to line these up get some decent spread on them. Okay. Oh, auto save. Right when I click to place the <laughs> to place the pole thing auto saves. I really wish there was like a countdown, like a three, two, one countdown for when it auto saves. That would save me a lot of like oop like moments. All right, so these are starting to charge up. So now that we have accumulators going, we could we could set up a power switch, although we don't have a whole lot of accumulators. Considering how much power we're actually producing, and there's no indication on this Solaris, like what exactly, like if I click on this and go to one hour, and I'm looking at solar panels here, yeah, I'm able to. I'm making one megawatt, but I don't know how that translates into gigajoules. Obviously, I am charging accumulators with that. Okay, what are we out of? Yeah, accumulators. Yeah, I know we're out of accumulators. Didn't have very much production of accumulators. So let's see if we can get a power switch built. I need one accumulator for myself. So let's see if I can't grab one of these. I'm building it up here. Oh, I'll just grab one of these over here. And we're going to go over to the power. Now let's see how many how many places. Let's open power up. You can see we have power coming out sort of two different two different directions. Actually that that is actually separated. That's amazing. Those are two completely separate sides. Um, so one of the things I want to do is I want to break this craziness in here. And then we need to break this craziness over here. Okay, so in here, I'm going to take these down. Okay, this big pole comes down. OK, 
Okay. <clears throat> then we need big poles all along the bottom here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So along here, let's take this. Oh, put this here. That way, the systems are all nice and separated. Okay, let's bring this in. Okay, so that should have cleared that bottom one out. So that's part of this main system going along our rails now. Now I need to do the same thing to this system over here and cut that off. So this one right here, connecting up to this one right here. So this basically needs to go away. And we need to come over here. All of these can connect right in to there. Granted, we need a little bit of power here. Oh. There. So now they should all be separated except for this section over here. So with our power switch, we can actually go over there and manage that. Because I want to be able to drain the accumulators all at once. If we look at our power again, you can see we've got almost a gigajoule of accumulator power. So if this is if this is 10 gigajoules, then I think if they're all depleted, we can kick on the solar panels and charge them all up in a day and actually, you know, make some progress towards that achievement. Okay, so I'm going to take that one away. So this main connection between here and here is actually the one we're going to we're actually going to one we're going to manage. So the base is going to be a little without power for a second. At least it should be. Well, no, it, it should have. Uh, yeah, see, the uh, accumulators are going going away. So I'm going to put the accumulator on this side of the tracks there. And then we're going to have another one coming up here, and this one's going to be cleared away. And we need this to connect here. Oh, we need it to connect here. Okay, now we need the power switch. Okay, now we need the electricity. Where's my copper cable? There it is. This one goes in that side. This one goes in that side. And we need a red wire to go from the accumulator to the switch. Now the accumulator will put out its charge level onto signal A. And its charge level is between 0 and 100. Okay, so uh, we want less than, let's say, 20% signal A. That bridges that gap and immediately... The charge happens as you can see it's it's kind of going a little crazy because it's charging this thing or it's trying to and yeah right now it's going a little crazy because it's hitting 20% and then it's discharging and it's hitting 20% and then it's discharging so it's uh, hmm how to make that better I can set something up. It'll take me some time to remember how to do it, though. Yeah, we need, like, a delay switch. We need it to charge. Like, if it drops below 20, I want it to charge up to 100 and then turn off again. So that's that's a complex system. It's not too bad once I figure it out again. Because who knows what this is doing to my my poor game. If you click on a 
If you clicked on a power pole, look what it's doing. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I'll set up a simple one to start out with. Is this like a, if something's in the box, or if nothing is in the box, do it? Or can you kind of describe yep. what you're doing? Yep, I just, I got to remember how, how exactly it goes. But yeah, if there's, if there's something in the box, then it'll check and switch. Okay. So you need a comparator. I'm out of wires too. Red wires? Yep. I can craft up some. Oh, never mind. There they are. Don't you want it on the box? Oh, no. Yeah. There also, but you have to have a trigger for, for the one to release it. Yeah, I never did study too much on on the comparators and stuff. It was just too abstract sometimes for me. It's like you can output like signal copper cable and you can then pick up copper cable and then multiply it with, you know, accumulators and then take that and divide it by signal, you know, heavy oil and it's like what <laughs> like i don't my my brain can't comprehend what's going on with that that stupid thing yeah it, it took me a while to figure out my uh neat things to do with it too then you got the it's people okay. that build like lcd screens with these things and it's like what <laughs> It looks like you set this stack up over here, but didn't actually hook up the water to it. Uh, oops. Oh. That's weird. I must not have been able to reach. Yeah, I, I guess I got sidetracked when I was doing that. want to move on to something else it's gonna take me a minute to all right the brain is slow today as is mine yeah more it's it's you know the pressure people, oh people watching me oh man the pressure can't perform under pressure okay well we have Obviously not enough power. We only have 25 megawatts coming in with solar power. Um, and we're actually consuming, obviously, in the 60s. So we only have about a third of how many solar panels we're going to actually need at the end of all things. Uh, where are my solar panels? There they are. How many do I have? So I only have 240 made right now. Accumulators are probably even worse. Uh, yeah, 42 accumulators. But my my craft or my uh, bot placement doubled, which is nice. Okay. I need one of these coming 
down like, right in here somewhere. I actually don't need that much space. Right, in, right there is perfect. So one right there. Now if we go way out here, should be able to get another one over here. Pretty, pretty far. So right in here. Oh, I'm obviously not close enough for that. Really missed that long reach mod. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, let's do a deconstruct of any of the any miscellaneous detritus that was in here. And then we can set up another craft or another uh, blueprint set for all of these. I doubt I have, I don't, I know I don't have the accumulators or the solar panels crafted yet, but uh, they'll sit and slowly fill in. Yeah, I'm already getting, I'm already getting errors. I'm already getting beeped at. All right. As you can see, we actually have a little space on the outside here that we could we could tackle. So I think we shall add a little bit to the outside here. There we go. We now. Oh, and uh, the accumulators are completely dead. Yeah, I didn't have it yet. And then once they hit 20%, oh. It's actually working. I just switched on full for now. Oh, okay. Okay, so solar panels are slowly getting filled in. Ever so slowly. And there are 143 that we're missing. They'll get done. Takes them, what, 10 seconds to make one? So that's 1,400 seconds. Oh, actually a little more than that. Let's go with 1,600 seconds. Maybe even 1,800 seconds. Easy to divide that by 60. Would be 180 divided by 6. Would be half an hour. Ooh, half an hour before all those get done. It's crazy. Okay, let's go check on Oz here just before the episode runs dry. And let's see, my bot, my bots have only gone up a little bit, although we don't really have much or many solar panels. We could probably beef up the production of those temporarily kind of beefed up everything else. All right. So solar panels are up to 41 megawatts. Well, we're almost almost there. Okay, it's still not working. I think I need green wires also. Uh, I can craft you up some of those. I got them. Greens. So are there different like signal paths for the reds and the greens? Or is it the same path? Do the both paths get the same signal? They both get the same signal, but you can create separate circuits. Right. might have it here. 
sorry everyone had to had to clear out the cobwebs <laughs> and they might still be off there so that's going to take that once that hits 20 percent it's going to take that out right yep okay there it is that should bridge the gap that's going to do a little circuitous route there get put back and then what what uh now now it should wait until it drains again oh okay it's not turning off okay i need to find a way to disengage it all right well we'll end the episode here and uh come back next time and uh see what it see what it looks like working don't want to put too much pressure on him. Uh, all right, so that'll do it for this one. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.